Hey guys, it's Liddy here from LA3D Printing, and today I'm going to be finally reviewing some of Polymaker's PolySmooth filament. So, let's get started. Alright guys, so welcome back. Um, I just want to let you guys know that I finally actually decided I'm not going to be doing any of the filament unboxings um, in the beginning of my uh, filament reviews. I will show you guys what the box looks like, but we're not going to go through the whole process of what everything looks like just to get the videos um, to go by faster and so you guys can get more information on the actual filament and not focus on the box as much, um, which I think makes a lot more sense um, and will hopefully keep you guys more interested in the video. So um, I have a whole bunch of different colors um, from PolySmooth, as you guys know, because I did review the polisher um, that they sent me. So I will be also using that in this video. Um, but I'll just show you guys what the box looks like really quick, and then we can start printing things and then show you what everything looks like. So just a quick look. Um, again, I'm not going to go over a lot of what this looks like because I did kind of show it in the polisher uh, review. But it just has the name over here on the side, and it is a simple white box with their color, and it just opens... Um, very easily it has some plastic wrap over it when you get it um, but yeah so let's start printing with this filament I will be printing it on most of my printers um, I don't think I will be printing a lot on my uh, TiVo Michelangelo just because um, the bed has been having a lot of problem with warping I am using blue painters tape but I'm still having a little problem so mostly will be on the TiVo flash and the TiVo tornado uh, so yeah, so let's get printing and I'll show you guys what they look like in the end. Alright, so first let's check out these two pieces. Now these were printed together on my TiVo Tornado. Um, the palm part was printed at 0.2 millimeter layer height. It has 8% infill, uh, honeycomb infill. It has two shells um, and it was printed with a brim at 210 degrees on the nozzle and 70 degrees on the bed. And then our uh, cuff part was printed the same but the infill was 13% just to make it a little stronger was printed with support and a brim um, for this under parts under here and it was at the same temperature so these took about eight hours together um, and as you saw I had to do a lot of cleanup because um, I did not have my retraction settings dialed in um, so I did have to clean up a little bit but uh, it will definitely not show when I smooth it on the polisher um, and that is one great thing about this filament. If there is a little rough part, it will smooth out in the polisher, which is what I really love about this machine that, uh, and this filament. It just um, is a great quality and definitely great to have. So let's just check out the palm first. As you can see, the layer lines did great. And again, it was printed with a brim, so there's still a little bit of extra here, but it will go away. Or I could just clean it up a little bit more. But under here, the support did great, actually. Um, as you can see here, you can see just a little bit of lines, but it definitely uh, was successful. And the layer lines and everything did great here, and so did the overhang on the circles up here. So now, looking at this, now I did edit this um, in Fusion 360 to make these holes bigger and uh, also these holes bigger, just because when I would put in my uh, shark fishing line cord, for when I string these up, it wouldn't fit, so I just had to make it a little bit bigger. Um, so I just edited it, and now everything will work. And this was printed just like this, with support under here. As you can see, it did a little bit rough up here, but when we did it, put it in the polisher, all this will go away and it'll be very, very smooth. So overall, these prints turn out pretty nice on the TiVo Tornado. Next, looking at the forearm, this was printed at 0.2 millimeter layer height, 16% um, infill with honeycomb and it has two shells. It was not printed with a brim um, because my TiVo flash it was printed on um, has very great bed adhesion and uh, again the temperature was 210 and 65 degrees. Now the first layer went down great as you can see it's very shiny and looks amazing and nice and clean and then the top layers all look great too. This filament overall was just really really nice to print with. Super easy and it has a kind of matte finish to it, um, different than normal PLA. I'm not sure if it's the, um, the mixture of the actual filament, but it looks really awesome. Um, and this was, the whole arm is scaled up 115%, uh, and hopefully this part will fit in the polisher when I make my little stands for it. But overall, again, this print turned out really awesome. 
and the print quality of this filament is amazing. Alright, so next what we have here is the beige colored filament. Now these are the pins and the tensioner for the arm, um, and these were all printed on the TiVo tarantula, and this was um, printed at 0.2 millimeters layer height, 27% uh, infill, and uh, at actually 215 degrees, and then the bed was at uh, 70. Um, so these all printed very nice. They were printed on a raft. Um, so as you can kind of see down here, there is some um, issue here with the first layer. But that's okay because these pins are very strong still and they will not be seen. Um, and then this is the tensioner. As you can see, the layer lines are right now are very, very um, non-visible. So um, putting this through the polisher will make it extra, extra smooth and make sure nothing is visible. But I really like this color beige. Um, and I've actually never seen this color of filament before and I think it's a great color, it's something new and definitely looks good on these prints. So um, I'll put all these into the smoother and then we will go over the other prints that I've printed. Alright, so here we have the uh, mustard yellow filament. Now this stuff actually turned out really nice, but one thing I do want to mention um, about this filament, all of it, um, mostly this is that it is very, very brittle, uh, just as it is normal. Um, way more brittle than I think I've ever uh, noticed with normal PLA. Um, and that, I think, is why you need to have the polisher or you need to submerge it in rubbing alcohol um, or vaporize it in rubbing alcohol in some way. Um, because when I was taking the support or the raft off of these, some of them actually broke. So. That's why you don't see all of the parts here because I'm reprinting them. Um, but definitely make sure you are going to um, finish these off with rubbing alcohol because they do get very brittle. But just checking out, as you can see here, it's a nice color. There is still a little bit of beading on it, but I can um, change that in my settings. Um, but overall, the color is actually really nice and vibrant. I thought it was going to be an opaque color like their normal yellow PLA filament that they have, um, but it's actually very matte-like, and it looks very good, and the small detail, you can barely even see the um, layer lines, and as you can see, there's still some raft on there, so um, it was actually very hard to get off, but I'm reprinting these pieces, and then um, I will be smoothing these next. All right, as you guys can see here, I have printed in the beige color a headphone stand, um, and Unfortunately, it was too big to fit in the polisher, so I am actually just painting on some rubbing alcohol. Now, this didn't do much because I didn't do too, I didn't do enough coats, um, but it eventually did smooth it out. All right, guys, so welcome back. Um, as you guys can kind of see, uh, this video quality is a little different. Now, it uh, is because I just got my new iPhone XR, so the camera quality will hopefully be better on the rest of my videos. But I've actually done a lot of prints with this poly smooth filament, and I'm not going to go in detail on all of them, um, just because I just printed many things in the different colors. But I will show you guys the aftermath of what they all look like um, after being smooth, and I'll turn the camera around because they're all over here in a big pile. Um, but overall, this filament is very, very awesome, and especially with the polisher from Polymaker, um, it makes using this filament a lot easier. But again, you can use a paintbrush and just some alcohol, um, rubbing alcohol to paint over it and you get the same effect. Um, the polisher just does a better job of that. Um, but this filament is very strong and it comes out very nice and is definitely a smart filament to use um, if you are into a lot of modeling and stuff and little action figures because it gives you a nice base to paint on or just get the best quality out of this filament. Um, so I'm going to turn the camera around and just show you guys a quick shot of all of the stuff that I've printed with it, and then we'll finish off the video. So this is everything that I've printed out of this filament. Um, besides the blue things, those are just the stands for the polisher. Um, but that was a faceplate for an Xbox One controller. Um, and then all of these were just um, pieces for an arm and then some sample uh, logo over there. Um, but I also did want to mention is after you smooth these, you want to leave it for about two weeks to completely solidify the layer so that is extra strong um, after it is done smoothing. So that is it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I do apologize for not uploading for the past two weeks. I have been very busy and I really hope you guys enjoyed your Easter break. Um, for whatever you did, I hope you had a great time. 
Um, I, again, will be going on a trip to Seattle this summer and actually soon, uh, May 4th. So there will be no videos for a couple weeks again, um, but I will try my best to get out as much as I can, especially this summer. Um, I am backed up right now with softball, so that's why there's been a couple uh, delay videos. Um, but again, I hope you guys enjoy all my videos and hope you learn something new in them. Please let me know what you want to see on this channel down below in the comments. Um, again, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.